Are you ready? Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Leo and thank you very much for joining me here today. So today I'm going to be looking a bit more into dandelion water droplets and reflections because Abzabat, a subscriber, did message me and contact me and asked me if I could go into it a little bit more detail because like he says, a few months, when I first started off I was a bit nervous and I missed a few things out so I thought that I'd go into a bit more detail today and show you how I do it, exactly how I do it and reasons why and what I do, why I do it and how to get that perfect reflection and so you know yin and ali sort of every time I help so thank you ever so much today like I said things I'm going to be using them are so simple absolutely and you every the, the most old goods other than your dandelion seeds really to be fair the first thing I use always use is a white plate I always use a white plate the reason I use a white plate is because it's a blank canvas and it's the best way for me to do it. Secondly, I always use one of these. This is a Lazy Susan that you can get off Amazon UK. I will leave a description below. And I've got a couple of little wooden blocks and all I do is wooden blocks is the sits out on there. So when I put my plate on the top, all this is when I fill it up, it can overflow and go and catch in my Lazy Susan. The other reason I like a Lazy Susan is because I can turn it if I think the position's out and it really works well. The next thing is, people ask me about my mixture. Mixture really is what it is. It is water and milk. The reason I use milk is because if I was to place the water onto my plate, normal, and fill it straight to the top. Then I put my dandelion clock in the water, like that. Yeah, and I just cover it over till it's reached it. Ding ding. When I take the picture, because the handle I'm at is at a slight handle, you'd actually see the blue tack underneath, and that is is not what we want. So, so what I do is. I've started, I started using milk for that reason, for the reason that I didn't want, you know, to see the blue tack. Plus, when you add the water to the milk, it gives you a lovely clean canvas. And white is better than clear. So now I've got a good starting, solid starting point on my plate. Now I fill it up right to the very, very top and I just run my finger around just so it gets rid of any lines and then that is it. It's like I says, it's virtually 50-50 milk and water. Don't need nothing else. And that is it. Like I says, all I've done is I've got my blue tack and all I do is I just gently roll it in a thin, like a thin, like a column sort of thing. The reason, and just then I just get it, put it on the, there uh, to flatten it out so I know it's gonna sit there. Drop my dandelion in the top. Then the reason for that I keep it long and thin is because when I push it in, in, into the water then, I can push it down. It's easy to push down to level a one. So I've just got that little seed head, just touching the water. And that is it, that is that is the, that is my setup straight away. And that is how, and why are you is the milk and water? It's because it's, it, it casts a better shadow. It's 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 a it's a it's a perfect you know whiteboard. When you draw a picture, you draw what do you do? You draw a picture on white paper because you can see all the highlights and detail and everything else. We don't go out and try and draw 
white onto black because it down sort of, it does work but it doesn't work as well this is why i use this this is my plain canvas and that's why i do it you'll need a syringe now these syringes was off amazon uk and there was there was actually steroid syringes now i've looked all over amazon and i can't find syringes anywhere but if you know anybody who's diabetic then they're the same sort of syringes and you need the finest possible one you need a sharp one because the blunt ones don't seem to hold the water droplets on the end or they won't come off as you're trying to do it and this is what absolutely you know people fail because they're using blunt ones what happens is the water reacts with the end of the tip of the needle and it sort of pushes it off so it down down there meaning you can get a better water drop when you put your water drops on and this is how i overcome and i managed to get the water drops on virtually first time i thought i'd just touch on the subject of equipment what i'm going to be using quickly now this to me is the way i take photos you might find it totally different but the way i get my images like this is i use a pringle tube as a snoot and then all this is a pringle tube and all i've done is just sliced it off to give me an handle this is all i use this for is what it does is it goes on my flash and this is a big part of my water droplet photography because without this it's a bit harder to control your light this will just sit on the top of my camera but the light instead of going everywhere it ain't it's going to be forced down the tube and directly onto my backgrounds that I'm going to be using this way then I'm not lighting the subject up because the subject is will be underneath it it will actually light the background up push the local light round and that's where it's going to give us the uh, the reflection we need and the colors all this is this is a new -y flash and believe me the fit on mouse cameras and for the price they am I'm absolutely a godsend and really I won't be without this. This has served me some brilliant over two years I've had it and it's really served me well. I will leave a link to one of these because they're cheap but they're good. We've got all the technical stuff out of the way now. All I've got here is my 750D, my 100mm macro lens. Now if you haven't got a macro lens you can always use extension tubes just as good as you've already seen before. I've just explained my flash setup so now what we're going to do is introduce the clock into the water now i suggest you set up two or three of these because you can drop a water drop on and they just collapse now placing the clock in the water when i place it in, into the into the solution should i say water like i said before you want it so it's just touching the surface now ideally you can have it lower higher you can have it what you want but really this is the way i do it now, the reason, now, another reason is where you place your clock into the fluid because it makes a big difference because all this is our canvas, like we said before. So we need to be, so we need to be focused. If the centre of the lens, yeah, where you're going to shoot from, needs to be focused dead on the dandelion clock. Yeah. And then the other stuff is we want to frame it so virtually we've got that handle. So we're shooting, we start our start of our picture, our shadow is going to come, reflection is going to come at the start, and our backdrop is actually the back of the milk. That's why you've got to fill the plate up as much as you can so that you've got the complete picture. Like I said, this is a canvas. Once you've got all that, we're ready to go. And that is, that is all there is to it. Now what I use is these, these, and these are just reflective cards. I shall leave a link so I found some on Amazon that I've been using. And these are what give the colour. And what we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to get the card and we're going to bend them just like that. And then we're going to place them at the back of your picture. So when you place them at the back of the picture and you're putting your pressing your flash, what happens is is it goes round. And it, it, it casts the shadow onto the water and they push it round, push the light back around, and this is how I get my reflection. But these make absolutely fantastic backdrops, as you've already seen. Well, my, one of my pictures got me through to the British uh, Photography Awards final, so I'm quite happy with that one. Right, let's let's talk a bit about setting. Because I'm using a flash, I'm at 1 200th of the power, I'm at f7.1, and I'm at ISL 100. Now, my flash settings can also change depending on how light I want the picture, how dark I want the picture. I'm currently, my settings are at 1 16th for the power 
and that's all I need really to be fair I can actually drop it down a bit more but I tend to have that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shoot some shots off then I shall put some up at the end and show you what I want but all you've got to remember is the center of the lens is going to be focused on that and then keep all this as your canvas because the colors that you're going to put over the top of it is going to give you the color what you want in a shot then it's a case of focus dead on the water drop which I'm just quickly going to put on now when you put your water drops on start off small put one drop on at a time then just keep adding and then that way then you get the perfect water drop every time you know okay not every time because it will go over that's why it says make a few up because if it like, collapses then I can just change it straight over so what we're going to focus on is the dead center of that but that ball that water drop that's it and that is it let's just take a shot and have a look perfect drop just gonna get that like that bend it around the back <laughs> and it's, it's perfect straight away you can use other color of color all, all the other color cards as well now if you want to get a different look and you want your shadow to be a different place now mine's coming towards me all you've got to do is just slightly move your flash around it tilts and when you're shooting the light now it'll always put the shadow into a different place for you let's have a look at some of the pictures So what do you think of those pictures? Let me know in the comments box below. Really have enjoyed doing this one today. It brings back some, you know, some good memories of of the last couple of years where I've been doing and how far I've grown and I've learned new things today that I didn't know before. But like I says, make sure you use the milk as a white template because what happens is, is the colour, once you bounce it around from that flash, soaks into the milk like it acts as a white piece of paper and that's how you get them lovely colors and this is the key to it all and the handle you got to get the handle right and that's how it works that's all so thank you very much abza abzabat i really do appreciate you sending me those questions if anybody else got any questions let me know i'm open i can i'll do it if i can do it for you not a problem i hope you've all enjoyed it and if you got to the end of this one thank you ever so much and i hope you're all keeping safe and until next time, stay safe and happy snapping.